Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so, my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and everything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some things that you can be doing for volleyball right now. I know that a lot of us are going through a lot right now and things are different for everyone and I know that some of us haven't played in a long time and some of us are fortunate to play right now, but I want to give some suggestions that I think are really great for you to be able to stay involved in the volleyball world right now. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into it. So number one, one thing that is really great right now is a lot of us have a surplus of time. Now I know a lot of you guys are doing online school and a lot of you guys are having a lot of assignments and you have all of these classwork to do and you're getting all this activity, but a great thing to do right now is to watch a volleyball tutorial and grow in your skills. That means if you're working on passing, why not take that time to pass right now and work on your passing? If you're trying to learn how to serve, this is a great time to practice your serve. Use this time to be able to grow in the skill that you're really looking at, so that way you can develop into a greater player on your own time almost. So take some time to look at what you want to work on. I know that when I was in high school, after practice and after school, I would go in my backyard and I would work on my hitting approach. I, I, I was so determined to be an outside hitter. I wanted to be an outside hitter so bad and I said to myself, girl, you need to learn your approach. So I took the time to learn my approach in my own time and it greatly helped me at practice when my coach can see improvement. So use this time to watch a volleyball tutorial and I know that I have a lot of tutorials that are here that you can learn and watch. So I'm going to link a playlist down below that have some of the tutorials that I've done on the passing, the serving, the hitting. That way you can grow in your skill just a little bit. Number two, learn more about volleyball strategy. Now volleyball strategy and that volleyball mindset is so important and critical. Coaches love when they have somebody who has volleyball mindset and strategy. That means somebody who is well versed in the game, they know what's going on, they know the positions, they know basic rules, they know maybe advanced rules, they know calls, they know plays, that kind of stuff. If you are a beginner and you just started volleyball or you're make, looking forward to make your team later, the more knowledgeable you are in the sport, the better. Because the coach will be so excited to see somebody who is so involved and passionate. And it gives you an upper hand almost because you're seen as more coachable and determined. Determination is everything. So if I were having a team right now and I saw a player that came to me and said, oh, I understand these concepts, that is so great because it shows that you did your own research and you're really passionate about the sport. So volleyball strategy, that means looking at some of the rules and regulations, some of the ref calls, some of the setter, um, setter the way the setter will set look at some of the rules about the outside hitter the positions that is something that will really greatly benefit you and your own knowledge but also on a team Number three, stay connected with others. So if you're on a volleyball team already, you might be connected with your team, you might be talking with your team, you might even be doing conditioning workouts with your team. And I've seen some great Instagram accounts where they're doing conditioning workouts. Kudos to y'all. But if you're not on a team and you're looking for community, there's a great community that is here that you can talk to others about volleyball, your questions. I try to answer questions as much as I can, but finding that volleyball community that supports you is so great because it is so large. Volleyball extends more than just youth sports. It's more than middle school, more than high school, more than collegiate, more than professional. It's adult, there's senior citizen volleyball, there's special Olympic volleyball, there's sitting volleyball. Volleyball can be played by anyone. And I know I've preached this so many times, but it's so true. It can be played by anyone. So get involved with some movements that really relate with you and resonate with you that you want to be more involved in so you can find that volleyball community that really fits you. I know that one that I really like is the hashtag volley strong movement because it really highlights those key players in the volleyball community who are so important. So and I also like 
interacting with you guys too because you guys you guys are lit the comments are always lit you guys are also great and it's very positive and I, that's one thing that I'm really proud of on my channel is that it is so positive all the time and I like that you guys keep that positivity and you're so open and honest and you encourage each other in the conversations you have you never know how what that means to someone for somebody to get that nice advice and how many people really look for that advice so I really want to thank you guys for that it's so great to see that Number four, being kind to yourself. Take some time to really be kind to yourself and that can mean a lot of different things. For me, being kind to myself, I'm a big book reader, so I like to read or listen to audiobooks and that's something that I do when I want to be kind to myself. I kind of unplug and take that time to really get involved in what I'm doing so that way I can really relax and refresh and that's something I do to be kind to myself. So find something that you like to do that you really enjoy that's less low on stress that gives you that pleasure that you want to be able to involve yourself in something that you're passionate about. For some people it's art. I wish I were a more creative person because I would totally paint if I could. Some people they like to build things. Some people like crafting, gardening, things like that. So be kind to yourself. This time is a time for you to refresh and relax. Just take it easy. Don't stress keep your stress low, and that is so important, and move to your own speed. Just because there's so much going on and just because you have so much time doesn't mean you have to rush things. Just take your time and find the time to do things when you need to do things, but also be kind to yourself. So even if we're practicing our serve or we're practicing our past, we don't have to set a hardcore deadline like by June 5th, I need to know how to serve or by June 11th, I need to know how to set. That's not something that you have to do, but I am a big believer in setting goals. So setting goals for yourself is great, but you don't have to set goals that are so hard in the paint. So take your time if you need to work on your goals or work on your goals just a little bit every day, that's fine. But if you feel like you want to do it once or twice a week, that's okay too. Be kind to yourself, find something that you enjoy, make sure you take time for yourself because you're important, always. What are some of the suggestions that you have about staying relevant in the volleyball community right now? What are some things that you want to see or that you want to talk about? Talk about it in the comments below because I'm sure somebody would really, really like to see it. All right. I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.